this is your first movie. Yeah, first feature you're film. Just singing. Singing, that's what I do for a living, yeah. People Uh, enjoying that. My real job, (laughs) my day job. Um, But yeah, this is my first feature film. I had a great time, you know. It was a great script. Um, And the the fact that there's music involved, you know, allowed it to be almost a stepping stone, you know, into the movie business for me, you know, into making films. Uh, I've loved every minute of it. I hope I can do more. Yeah, but your role is um, you're kind of away from the family a little bit. Yeah, the storyline is um, I'm... I am a, a marine biologist, so I'm out at sea studying the whales all of the time. Laura's at home, and uh, I buy her a webcam so that we can talk, but we don't talk on the webcam, so she's a singer, so she starts performing down the webcam to all these women around the world. So she becomes this big star, and then she has to go off and, and uh, become the face of this brand, basically, and, and she leaves the kids at home, and I have to come home and mind the kids, and the tables are turned, and she's torn between, you know, does she want to be a you know a star or does she want to be a, a wife at home with the kids you know so she's torn between this whole thing and it's a very real life situation it happens uh-huh. a lot so but you you don't actually get to do any of the singing i only did sing one <laughs> song with laura sadly yeah but it's kind of nice because i think people know me as a singer so yeah. it's nice so to now you're i want to be seen as an actor which is kind of important to me so but you have a lot of songs left to come along oh you have a new album coming out in august a solo album and i have a tour next year and i'm working in australia on x factor and uh yeah, I'm still kind of just doing it all. And there's 20 years of Boys Own next year, so it's crazy. I want to talk about how the movie talks about family and marriage. And, yeah. I mean, as I, I, I get the picture that they're kind of a, a little bit having a rough time because you're away. Yeah, I mean, I'm spending a lot of time at sea. And uh, Laura's character, Elspeth, is, is starting to feel very, you know, she's left alone. She sacrificed an awful lot, moved down to Tasmania from England and gave up her career as a singer. And uh, she's starting to feel that. And so that, that kind of tears us apart a little bit. And, uh, and I'm dedicated to my job and I'm constantly traveling. If I'm not saving the whales, I'm studying them, you know. And, and and do you think that their marriage, I mean, maybe this is telling a little bit too much mm. about the film, but are there good things happening? Oh, they are, they're, they're good things. I mean, they love each other, but she kind of falls out of love with her husband and, and then realizes how much she loved him because she starts watching him on this webcam when he's at home with the kids and she falls in love with him again. So they, they, they do have problems and issues in the marriage, but, you know, they pull it back together. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful film. Yeah, did, did, um, this, this may be a little bit too personal, but did you have any personal reaction towards that yourself? Um, yeah, I mean, I spent a lot of time traveling and away from my family so I could relate to his character to James um, and how you know because I enjoyed my job and I enjoyed going away and working but I did miss my kids so I, I was torn myself so I understood that character I guess maybe that's why it felt natural for me to play him now you're at Cannes and I know. What this am I might doing in Cannes? be this like crazy. a huge dream also what this is thinking? a huge dream I'm, I'm so honored to be here and I feel very lucky and uh, I hope it's my you know the first of many years at yeah. Cannes so we're promoting uh, Goddess which is my first Major lead First, role in yeah. a feature film. I mean, I I was in Sweeney Todd the musical with um, you know, Tim Burton directed, but um, this the the new film that we did is nothing like that. This is kind of wild, mm-hmm. dancing, singing, acting, and being a little yeah. bit dramatic, which is what I love. Yeah. Um, so Goddess is representing a, the every woman, like is everyone at home, wanting to use their talents and wanting to have an audience for their talents. Um, so it's really about that. Yeah. So what was your favorite aspect to work with? Um, I think probably the kids. We got incredible kids and I was a mother of twins in the film and they were so fun and they didn't actually know we th- they were in a movie. We made it like, oh, we're going to Mama Laura's house <laughs> every day. Okay. They were, I think they were four at the time. They're so <laughs> hilarious. They're so fun. Now, do you have a family yourself? Or? No, I mean, yeah. that's why it was a really nice thing to be able to practice having children. <laughs> How does it come about that she starts to do these, like she decides to do them? So the, the premise is that um, Elspeth Dickens, she's at home alone because her husband's off saving the whales yeah. um, and it's set in Tasmania in the middle of the fields in a farm and she just gets a lot of time on her hands. I mean she's obviously got kids so she's running around after them but um, she wants to do something fun every day with the music. So she starts to song right and she puts herself up on a webcam and then she gets gathers an audience and she just goes from there. Someone sees it and she gets famous and then her life changes. And it's like the dilemma. Do you choose family over fame? Because there is sometimes a, a cost to all your dreams. What is kind of the picture of family, the whole family together? 
what is our picture of the family? Yeah. How does oh, it well, present? Well, like so from the beginning, we see that um, you know they're on a family, they're on a farm, and she's alone, and he's off in the wa- saving the whales, <laughs> and um, she he leaves her a webcam to keep in touch with him, but she can't reach him, uh-huh. but she can reach other people. So it's kind of like her reaching out and finding a connection with somebody to make her feel yeah. like um, you know her dreams can come true still. And what do you think is like the greatest as like message that people can take from it? Follow your dreams. I just think it's an exploration of the dilemmas that come up when you get offered fame. And does, do, is it possible to have success without sacrificing something? Mm-hmm. And I think that's a really good message. But it's done in a really funny way. What kind of inspired you first thing about the project that you were like, I've got to take this on? I uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a single moment. It was one of those kind of spine-tingling moments where um, I was watching a cabaret show, a one-woman mm-hmm. cabaret show called Sing Songs, uh, and um, about a young mum stuck at home with twin toddlers going out of her mind, installs a webcam over a kitchen sink and starts to sing songs to the universe <laughs> in the hope that somebody will hear her. And, um, and someone does. And someone does. <laughs> and uh, I just was watching Joe Weinberg do this one woman show, oh. and it was just, oh my God, this is a movie. This is, you know, yeah. like I can just see that this would make a great film. So I approached her straight after the show and said, hey, do you want to try and turn this into a movie? And she yeah. said, kind of, yeah, count me in, sort of thing. So we spent a long time then developing it. Yeah, well, it seems like an incredibly fun concept to like get on board with. So. I think it's very fun and it was very resonant. What was what really interested me was at that very first sort of uh, time I saw it, Joe's show, was afterwards it was she was playing to an audience of young mothers and they literally mobbed her and they <laughs> kind of went, That's me, that's you uh-huh. you that's how I feel. I kind of feel I love my kids but I feel stuck and I've got identity issues uh-huh. and stuff, you know, and they were just going blur blah blur blah blur blah blur <laughs> at her. And I thought, Wow, when a when a story can resonate like that yeah. I, a movie can resonate like that too, you know. I just knew that I could kind of translate that across to the big screen. So but it, nice. it has like a great <laughs> message about family and marriage, and how do how do they kind of play in that that they are able to continue with the family and the marriage and work together? Well, or, or what do you think the message about family? Is? Look, I think, uh, you know, the, the message about family is, is well, not a new one. I think everybody knows it. It's, it's sort of family is probably the most important thing. Uh-huh. You know, you've got to protect that and get yeah. that right. And then, you know, you can launch yourself from there. And um, so I think that's sort of the hard lesson that, you, you know, Elspeth, our, our lead character, learns in a sort of a post-feminist world where supposedly you can have it all. Actually, that's a really hard thing to do. Yeah. Although, sh- in the end, she does have it all. You know, she does, <laughs> She but she manages in her way, on her terms, you know, and maybe not necessarily in the way that others were judged to be, you know, the others wanted to do, rack off and leave the kids and go to New York and have a terrific yeah. life, but she didn't make that choice. She redefines her reality and kind of makes it hers in a way that includes her family she, as well. Wh- why does she decide to even kind of do this? Is she completely bored and she loves to sing or why it's, does she? Yeah, she's got a real, just a sense of frustration. She's uh-huh. on an isolated farmhouse. Her husband's never there. She's stuck at home with these kids. She's just going slightly nuts. Yeah. And, you know, she initially she gets the webcam to, to, so she can try and communicate with her husband, but she can't even get on to him. And so she just thinks, oh, stuff it. Do it for I'm going to yeah. just Do put on a show <laughs> here from the kitchen sink. And she Do does, it, yeah. you know. And f- for ages, she keeps on putting on a show. Nobody logs on and nobody should. But eventually, people do start to log on and yeah. she becomes famous. But if you were to sum it up into one, like, great message to it, what would you kind of sum it up? Like a byline. Yeah, it's really hard with this movie because there are a few of them. But I guess if I was to choose one core Uh, thing, it's that happiness is often right under your nose. mm -hmm. You just need to see that it's there. Yeah.